So Gale Crater was chosen as the landing site for MSL, so I'm going to tell you why landing and doing scientific investigations at Gale Crater will change everyone's view of Mars. Um, so the landing area is in um, the zone right here where we have the high resolution um, high-rise data, and when we first land, we'll be able to look at rocks that are um, eroded from the crater wall and brought down in. They'll give us an idea about the crust of Mars uh, in this location. There's also a very hard and bright unit there um, that maybe apply a lake deposit, which will be one of the first places we look uh, for organic compounds. However, the main science area is at the base of this mound. So the mound is five kilometers of layered sediment uh, that are recording the environment in Gale um, for tens to hundreds of millions of years. So the base of the mound has um, clay minerals and uh, sulfate salts as seen from uh, spectral signatures uh, from orbiters um, such as CRISM. And so that is one of the main uh, science questions for Gale, is what is the relationship between those two minerals? Scientists have a lot of theories about uh, the relationships of those and how they reflect changes in the amount of water on the surface of Mars through time. So this air flat area here has a lot of the clay signatures and um, we're hoping that these layers in the ridge here are going to show us some of the relationships between the clay minerals and the sulfates and, and um, get some clues as to uh, the environment on Mars. So clay minerals and sulfates are also both good for preserving organic compounds and we'll be looking for organic compounds there. And when we actually get closer to the mound and we can start looking at these layers in the mound, they show varying mineral signatures between the clays and the sulfates. And so we have this whole um, suite of investigations that we can do to understand the relationships of the minerals, the presence or absence of any organic compounds, and how those organic compounds um, may have reacted uh, with the rock. Another interesting thing about Gale is that the sulfate um, salts have a lot of water in them. And when they warm up, they release that water to the atmosphere, we think. And when it cools off, water from the atmosphere can go into, into those salts. So one of the things we can look at are some of these steep slopes on the beautiful hills. And where they have uh, more sunlight, they should be warmer than in the shaded areas. And so we can use the instrument package on MSL, which is very good at, and has multiple ways of, of detecting water and water vapor, to, to understand how water is exchanged from the rocks um, into and out of the atmosphere to give us an idea of the modern hydrology cycle. Um, another really interesting thing um, about Gale Crater is that we have this thick mound of sediments that's recording environments as it formed, but then we also had water flowing um, down it and cutting canyons. Um, so here's a canyon that's very close to the, the landing um, site and water flowed down the canyon and transported the sediment. And so that, that sediment interacted with the water when it was being transported and deposited. And so this is one of our, th our third major targets for organic compounds in Gale Crater. Uh, if they were present when the water cut this canyon and these sediments were deposited, um, they should be preserved um, in those sediments. So those are some of the, the sort of prime science um, that we're going to do with MSL, um, but there's just a huge amount more uh, that we can do um, through the mission. So we can investigate um, the canyon and the, the layers um, in that canyon, uh, their dunes and erosional processes. And as one goes further up the, the uh, mound, there are even more different types of sediments. So here's a bright layer. Um, a set of rocks. We don't know what their composition is. They don't have any distinctive signatures um, uh, for the orbital instruments, uh, but they uh, erode by the wind in these really interesting patterns. And so there's this whole sequence of events uh, representing different environments that we'll be able to investigate uh, with MSL. So we have all of these science questions that we can address and uh, answer um, in this uh, uh, beautiful scenic landing site. So that's why I think landing in Gale will change everyone's view of Mars. Thanks for watching. Okay.